into the room, in the car, for Michael to get in and out of the car. Put that in there. Here we are on our way to the airport after a resort check-in, which is a really good idea with Jet 2, where you actually um, check your luggage in at the hotel or apartment or whichever. Um, there's only certain ones that do it though. Um, but it means we don't have to mess about when we get to the airport um, because we have no luggage to go straight through once we've uh, taken the car back we then go come back and then go straight through into through security and into the actual departure lounges which is really good and the other thing is they printed off the tickets there and then oh yeah and they print off the boarding passes there and then and as you can see that said there aeropuerto uh, to Las Palmas as well and, and, and Vecindario. This is GC1. It is very overcast today and very, very windy. Um, as I come, come round here, I'll show you the coast. And as you can see, you can see the white horses as the sea is hitting the rocks and things. So we're currently in Starbucks in the um, hotel? No, airport. airport. <laughs> Stupid me. Um, yeah, so um, they've changed the way that you do the disabled assistance here. I couldn't film it, I'm really sorry about that, but as you're coming in through the main gate, i.e. at the Jet 2, you used to be able to, they'll have already booked it, although you've already booked it, you still have to go to like this, this machine and then you press the button um, and that basically then calls through to the assistance team. The assistance team will either speak to you in English or Spanish, that's it. German, not very good. Um, and then you have to give them your flight number and your name and that you request assistance. Then they tell you to wait there, but it's quite hard really because when other flights, and I really wish that I'd filmed that, other flights are queuing to actually check in, it goes into the assistance lane and it's terrible. Uh, and so anyway, they came and then um, we didn't go, they give us the assistance and they've told us to go and wait at another base, so hopefully at the assistance base, so I'll try and film that when we get down there. Um, we've got to be there at about quarter past two, so see how that goes. Updates, um, basically if you're coming in and you want the disabled part, it's just over there, that's where they'll put you. Um, the nearest sort of like stuff to here, toilets, here, disabled toilet, there is a Burger King, sorry, there's a Burger King that way, and then there's um, Starbucks that way, so there you go, nice little airport, oh and this, you shouldn't really see, but that's, um, that's um, security check. Okay, more from me later. So this is our boarding gate and we're about to go on that See one over there. No, that one over there. So because Michael's disabled, 
they should board us first. But at the other end, we get the ambulift again. Which is a bit of a pain. Because at least Bradford, the ambulift, you have to get on it, and it's very, very, very common. Yeah, so um, I'm not allowed to film going through the customs gate, so. Okay, so we've now boarded the plane. Um, seats 7A, B, and C. On this. Because we've paid for the extra one. On this Boeing 737 300 aircraft, which is uh, operated by Jet 2. Uh, I'm trying to give you a bit of a span. I think we're actually boarding now. Um, there was a bit of a delay with the, 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 the staff boarding up the disabled passengers first or the special assistance passengers but they managed to do that now um, and we, yes we did get boarded first and then and then uh, the rest of the flight crew or the, the, the people on the plane are now boarding so hopefully we'll be setting off on time uh, once everybody's on board uh, as usual, the obligatory sort of seat, what we've got, lots of space, it's a bit different angle this time. So, here we go. Time to get on board. Okay. So, same seats that we had coming out, same seats that we've got going back. essential thing that you've got to do when you're on a flight. Oh look, look, look Michael. On the, on the way out they didn't have them. Anyway, is to basically wet wipes, cleaning wipes and clean, clean the whole area down because you never know, some kid might have had its nappy changed <laughs> on your tray. So, uh, Oh, oh, my finger then. Mm -hmm. I have to uh, clean it. Oh, see? Disgusting. Highly advisable. Always good to do when you're on a plane. Did you uh, did you do that bit? Yes. Yeah. Sure. You see, the thing is, the plane never gets cleaned. I've already done it, David. Oh, you've done it. Okay. Not thoroughly, anyway. So, always with one of these. Clean, clean, clean. View from my window. Seat seven C. Michael's got a beef vegetable casserole, and I've got a. Thai Massaman beef curry. And in my little goodie bag, again, I have a cheese and biscuits, a cake, and cheese and biscuits, spoons, forks, and that sort of thing. So, we'll have to see what this is like. Oh. Ah, that's a bit better. Too much sun. What do you say about this to Why? It, it, it's quite hard to 
just have that spoon left. Oh, look at the yuckiness on the top of there. That going. The tea bag. Okay. Oh, look at that. That smells lovely. It smells nice, but not much. Don't get much to that.